welcome back to another episode of Guess What's on the Curator's Desk. Now, last time we showed you this specimen, and Mike was going to guess what it is. So before we give out the reveal, can you give me a guess? Well, I'm going to give it one more look. All right. I. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, very, very photogenic, wouldn't you agree? I mean, it's a nightmare. I think the, I w it seems like some sort of flesh-eating right. disease, right? Mm -hmm. Some sort of necrosis has obviously mm -hmm. manifested itself around the mouth and the nose. I, I wouldn't be shocked if you were to tell me that that were, was the result of like a spider bite. Close, but you were right about the necrosing. This is actually, you want to reveal it? Peel this off? Yeah. What does it say? Gangruit, gang gangrenous ulceration of upper lip and part of nares. Nose. Yeah. Uh, no, it's N-A-R-E-S. I know, but that means nose. Why does it say nose? Because oh. it's, you know, an academic label. It's gangrene of the face. Gangrene of the face. Well, how's that different than ne necrotic flesh, flesh eating, you know, gang? I mean, what caused the gangrene? Do we know? Well, gangrene is caused when, you're, when the flesh dies, but it's the result of gangrene as opposed to like a necrotizing fasciitis. Different types and strains of bacteria. And but can't gangrene be a result of fasciitis? I think gangrene, yeah, I mean gangrene is basically I guess just flesh death. So, so I think we can agree that what we have here is a face of flesh death. I think it's the face of flesh death, yeah. Now keep in mind this is a wax model, but one of the things I would like to stress is all of our wax models are highly, highly accurate. The color is accurate, the texture is accurate, and these were most likely done from living individuals. So this individual, you can actually live with this gangrene of the face. I mean, it's not a, it's not a great existence, but you know, he would be living for a little bit. I've been through your museum yeah. uh, at length, mm -hmm. filming our program here, which by the way, I'm grateful that you Thank you, in. yeah. And uh, I have no reason to assume or believe that this is wax. It, it is wax, I promise you. I mean. Your credibility has taken a couple of hits. Uh, over the course of the day we spent together. <laughs> it's, and, I promise you, uh -huh. look, there's no fluid in it, right? Remember we talked, anything with fluid in it is a wet specimen, no fluid, this is a wax model. Could have dried up. Okay, I mean, I don't know what I can do to convince, what can I do to convince you that it's a wax model? Um, he cannot lick it. Let me lick it. No. Let me lick it. No. See? You would let me lick wax, you wouldn't let me lick a real severed head. I would let you lick a real severed head, I wouldn't let you lick the wax. See, this is a, your whole wiring is so suspect. I know. The way you, you, way you I think. I know. Well, maybe you drink out what, what specimen container. So. <laughs> Have you discussed on your program that photo up there? You, We've discussed uh, the tool that actually does that. Is this the kind of thing that you would share with your viewer? What the that that photo? Yeah, we have, I think we've shared that photo before because we did. Oh, the, we right. showed the tool. One of the episodes was the lithotomy. It's called a lithotrite. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I think we should back back up to doing a. Don't how back up. Trust me, your viewer will hate you if you back up. <laughs> or you know, how do we? Is there any way to get out of this segment gracefully? You say thanks for watching. Join me next week for another crack daddy o episode of what the hell's on my desk and who am I or whatever this thing is called. Okay, that works, right? Okay, so, all right, so. Just tell them the truth, Anna. Don't bull crap your viewer. You'll never get more than one if you lie to them. <laughs> all right, so what we're dealing he with here is gangrene of the face. Now let's see what our next mystery object is. Spider bite, it was a spider bite. Not a spider bite. It's definitely a spider it's bite. A spider bite. Now this mystery object is a diagnostic tool. But other than that, I'm not going to give you too many hints. Mike, can you figure out what this is? Yes. This is a cylindrical piece of wood divided in the center and with a perforation around the top as well. It's hollow. Okay. I can see through it. Okay. May I turn it? May um, I attempt to turn it? Yeah, that's not going to be. That's not going to help you though. But you can. But that's not a. Wasn't uh, my question. I just okay. To know if yeah, I can. you can turn it. Oh. No, it doesn't help at all. Oh, that's not too annoying at all, Mike. It's a device designed to make people insane. <laughs> it's, a, it's a device ma made to make prisoners tell you where their buddies are. Jesus. Okay, hold on, I'm sorry. It's don't break it, please. I don't want you to break it on camera. I want to see if stuff... <laughs> if, you don't want me to break it off camera either. No, but probably don't... 
All right. Don't well, this is this camera. is extraordinary. All the turning doesn't seem to change anything. Right. <laughs> so. Now, ph physicians would use this to conduct some very important tests to learn about a patient's police stop. <laughs> well. Okay, so clearly they're gonna they're, they're peering in a thing, and because it's uh, long and narrow like this, that does something. I don't know what the word is, but it does. It forces your vision to. Um, uh, mm, has a great example of starting a sentence without knowing how you're going to end mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. You should not do that. Mm -mm. So I'm going to guess that this either goes, uh, um, as so many things do in this place, up the up the rectum, or into the ear, or perhaps it's to peer into the eye. I, you could look at anything you want through this. Okay. Hold very still. All right. It really is interesting the way it's. It's not magnifying it, but I can see further in your ear. No, it's like a tiny nativity scene up there. <laughs> Hold still. Look at that. I see them all. I see Joseph and Mary, and there's the baby Jesus. Unbelievable. I've been infested by Christians. <laughs> you, you're going to have to cut that out. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Do, do Christians watch this? I, I doubt it. Come I'm on. a Hindu. What do I, I mean? What is a Hindu? Half Hindu, half Jewish. Okay, you know, I get it now. We can say anything on this show. I, apparently. I'm just following your lead. Okay, so you think it's it's another rectal device, right? I Look, everything sooner or later is a rectal device. Okay, so, so Mike thinks this is a rectal device, but my question is, what do you think it is? So post your answers to, you, to our Facebook, Twitter, in the comment section below. Please be nice. I, I apologize. Yeah. We apologize I, yeah. for, for to, everything. To, to all the Hindus and all the Jews and all the Christians and all the yeah. people who have ever had anything in their ass, we're sorry. We're sorry. Okay. <laughs>